174 pounder for the Penn Quakers. Former Michigan Wolverine, Scott Giffen. Scott got to come back close to home. Talk a little bit about the transfer coming from Michigan back back home uh, to Philadelphia. Um, you know, I spent one year out at Michigan, so I, re I really enjoyed my experience there. Um, I just I kind of realized, you know, I, I wasn't actually going to have the opportunity to start for a year or two, and you know, I kind of decided that you know I've been wrestling too long to just you know sit on a bench, you know, out in the middle of nowhere basically, and you know I really wanted the opportunity to show, I guess, the rest of the country what I really had to offer, um, you know. And then being that far away from home was a little tough for me at first. Yeah. It was basically me and the kid from Colorado just kind of on our own, you know, when everybody else's parents were around. So it was really nice to have the support of my family when I came back east. Um, I never realized how important they were to me. You know, they flew out here, which is, you know, important for me to, you know, even matches like this is really important. So You're from actually New Jersey. Right, yeah, from New Jersey, about 20 miles from UPenn, so it's right close. I go meet my parents for lunch on a Tuesday afternoon if I really want, so. Okay, how how you think everything's going? You guys are kind of injury riddled. You're, you're, you got some red shirts. You guys got a lot going on. You know, what's the future hold, man? For Penn, you're going to be the. You told me the old man next year yeah. coming back for the senior year. But what do you see happening here, you guys? What do you guys got to uh, do? I think right now we're just trying to get a lot of guys healthy. Um, obviously, Dragon's still going to be out for a little while. Um, hopefully, Caesar will be back next weekend. Um, I mean, Raleigh's out right now for the rest of the semester. I believe Shovlin's done for the rest of the semester. So we're. We're kind of, you know, beaten down a little bit. I think, I think a lot of the guys that are still on the team, you know, still competing, need to really start buckling down. I think is what it is. I think everybody's minds are kind of scattered, especially with a lot of the other stuff that we had to deal with in the beginning of the year. Um, I just think guys need to start really focusing hard and just kind of blocking all the injuries out, you know, and just focusing on what they got in front of them one match at a time. So. Okay, you are ranked in the top, uh, I believe 20 is what I saw in the new coaches poll, because that's what matters, you yeah. know that, right? Yes. None of the other stuff matters. No. They can do all the internet yeah. rankings they want, but sure. coaches power power poll, you guys got a lot of guys actually ranked in the top 33 yeah. in the weights, but you know, what's the ideal number? How many guys do you think you need to take the NCAA to, for the season to be a success? I think uh, if we can get seven, you know, six, seven guys, I think we can, you know, win some matches, you know, I think... I think I don't, we don't need all ten. You know, I would love to have all ten, and if that can happen, it'd be great. You know, I think as a strong team, if you look at some of the better teams in the country, they got six guys that are winning matches, six, seven guys, and I think that's what it's going to take for us to be competitive. All right, we talked about Dragon. He's had crazy injuries, yeah. and there's a lot going on there. But you know, what do you say to someone like that? He's in his last year, and it's you know, there's basically a couple more dates left on the schedule, yeah. five or six dates and then the, the uh, EIWA tournament, and what do you say to them? Uh, you know, I actually, we, I mean, we live together in our, in our house, but uh, I really haven't gotten to talk to him too much, you know, but I actually said to him the other day, you know, I, I feel terrible for him, you know, and nobody deserves that, like, you know, I said to you. Um, and it really is a shame. Nobody deserves to go out like that, you know. He's a good kid, um, and like I said, he just doesn't deserve it. He works hard, and it's just, it really is a shame, and I, I really do wish him the best, and, I wish he can pull it together for the end of the season. So. All right. You got anything else for me, Scott? That's about it. All right. Hey, thanks for the time. And uh, I can't really hear the accent. So only sometimes when I hear you talk. Uh, I got water. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I say some other stuff a little weird, but nothing too bad. It's all a right. South Jersey accent. Uh, yeah, that's all right. <laughs> hey, thanks for the time. Good luck, and we'll be uh, hopefully seeing you at the NCS. Yeah, we'll do. Thank you.